Hi everybody, uh, today I'm going to show you how to tie the Johnson's beach fly. This fly is named after the man who developed it, Les Johnson, who passed away in 2017 after a, a really landmark career in fly fishing as both a writer and a conservationist. Uh, he published a number of really great books on coastal cutthroat trout, salmon and steelhead and the recipe for this pattern was featured in his 2004 edition of Fly Fishing Coastal Cutthroat which you know, I thoroughly recommend if you can get a hold of it. Uh, I never met the guy, but I do remember watching him co-hosting a TV series called Fly Fishing Northwest that ran here in the Seattle area uh, back in, uh, oh, in the early 90s. Uh, so I feel that Northwest anglers owe him a lot, and this is his namesake fly. So I'm going to be tying it as closely as possible to the original recipe. Uh, the original did have a wing of polar bear, but I'm using calf tail. Uh, and the hook for this fly is Gamma Katsu SP11 3L3H in size 8. Uh, although you could tie this in a size 6 and possibly a size 10. My thread is Danville's fluorescent orange, 6 aught. I'm going to lay down a base of thread from right behind the eye all the way to the bend of the hook. So this is an excellent fly to try on those days when pink or chartreuse or white flies or your typical bait fish imitation colours aren't attracting any attention and you need something a bit different. Uh, on some days orange will be your most productive colour. It may be to do with light intensity or sky colour. Uh, who knows? Okay. Get rid of the waste piece. So I'll be making the tail out of fluorescent orange calf tail, just the sparse bunch. And this should be slightly shorter than the hook length, like that. Uh, I'm going to lash it along the top of the hook, just keep it on the top. Okay, and then I'm going to cut it to the length of the body that I want. And you, you must not crowd the front of this fly because uh, you've got to leave room for some hackle and the wing that you're going to be tying in there and enough space for, for a little head as well. So about two thirds of the way along. Okay, now I'm going to tie in some flat tinsel for the rib. I'm using this kind that has both a gold side and a silver side. It's easier to tie in if you just snip off the end at an angle. That gets it started easily. I want the gold to show, so I'm going to tie it in with the silver side up and the gold side down. And then I'm going to use this opportunity to just make sure everything is bound down really smooth and tight. Tie it in all the way to the tail. That's good. I just clip that out of the way for now. There's going to be a dub body on this fly and you could add the dubbing directly to your tying thread if you're good at that sort of thing but I'm not. Uh, I like to apply dubbing in a loop if I possibly can and I'll spin it with my little brass spinner. I'm going to form a loop of about six inches right at the tie tie-in point for the tail and then cross my thread to lock it in place uh, then I'll wind the thread back up to the eye and when it's there just place it safely out of the way in the bobbin holder. So uh, this is the dubbin I'll be using. It's UV2 Seal X from Spirit River and the color's fluorescent orange. Uh, when I've and spun my loop here. Come on. I'm gonna do 
just lightly wax that thread. Take off the globby bits. And I'm going to evenly spread a little bit of dubbing between the two, two sides of the loop from top to bottom. And now I'm just going to spin it. Uh, to make a kind of a fuzzy chenille. That's, that's good. Yeah. So I'm going to use the rotary vise just to tightly wind this onto the hook. And I see my thread trying to unwind itself at the eye. Uh, I should have made a half hitch to prevent that. Uh, but I think I think I'll be okay. Okay, I'm going to tie off the dubbing loop at the same point that the tail material stops, two thirds of the way along. And then snip off that waste piece. And I'll trim some of those fibers that are just, just way out there. Okay, that's good. Now I'll wrap the tinsel rib, making one complete wrap around the base of the tail, and then spiral forward for four turns. Yeah, and tie that off good and tight. Trim away the excess. So I'm just going to clear away some more of those wayward bits of dubbing. That looks good. So for the collar, I've got a neck hackle patch dyed brown. I think this is from Wopsy. Um, I've selected a feather and uh, I trimmed off the top portion, just leaving some stem to tie it in with. And I'm going to tie it down with a glossy side facing me. and then double back the stem give that a few extra wraps for security trim that away and I'm going to take four turns of the hackle brushing back the fibers as I go with my left hand Okay, that's my four turns. Trap that. Now I'm going to stroke everything back with the fingers of my left hand and bind it down just a little, just to force those fibers back at a slight angle, like so and snap off that surplus feather tip. Okay, I like the way that looks. Now to finish the fly, I'm going to add a sparse wing of calf tail, although you could use arctic fox to much the same effect. I want my wing to be the combined length of the body and the tail. And I prefer to cut the wing to length before tying it in rather than trimming it afterwards which usually for me results in a mess around the eye of the hook. 
So I'm going to take I'm going to take two loose turns for positioning, and then tighten up as I move the hair into place along the top of the shank. Keep keep winding. Check that it's straight. That looks fine. And I'll continue to bind it down tightly. Uh, just to form a, a neat thread head. Okay, then I'll put in a whip finish. thread. Looks good. So I'm going to apply a coat of this UV resin balloon, uh, but you can use whatever you like. Okay, that, that's a bit too much. I'll get rid of that surplus. Cure it. You see all that fluorescent material lighting up there. And then I'm going to just trim away that stray fiber, and there it is Johnson's Beach Fly. So thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any luck with it. <laughs>